Namo Buddhaya. A special thanks to Justin, now canonized as Saint Justin, uh, hours after my talk out in the field. Okay, uh, Justin sent fifty dollars, and what he wrote with the message, it, it, Justin, you knew this was coming, right? You knew I'm gonna, I was gonna do this. He says, "May all beings end their suffering." And uh, may you bring others towards enlightenment. And may you always be well, be free, be healthy. And so I always, you know, there's so many of students around the world, I don't know their intention. But it, I, again, I always get a kick out of reading the messages attached to the donations. But thank you, Justin, for doing that. That it puts a big smile on my face. And that contribution will go towards uh, Novice Devan's project in the forthcoming days to come. Um, how wonderful for you to reflect on bringing people towards the ending, the complete ending of suffering. Complete ending of suffering. And that is key and central to my teachings. And that's something we overlook in the Dhamma, right? We look at the precepts, we look at all these things, the four foundations of mindfulness, the four protective meditation functions, but we forget the big picture of it is the complete, complete, 100% ending of human suffering. No more depression, no more anxiety, no more worries, no more drama, no more all that, just no more. End it once and for all, so that you can move on with your life. Be impervious, be bulletproof, to some of the bows and arrows in life of rejection, failure, self-denial, self-rejection, self-esteem, self-value, self-concept, me, my, and I, practice of the non-self. That's what the Dhamma teaches. And when you become one of us, the complete ending of suffering is just that. No matter what happens in life, death, uh, letting go, people who leave you, people you fall in love with, Anything that goes on, you're just like, ah, uh, and so it is. <laughs> that's that's the attitude, and so it is. And it is what it is, it can't be what it ain't, right? Uh, that came from uh, Reverend Kim, actually, said, so it is, that's her thing. And my thing is, it is what it is, it can't be what it ain't. But we get so attached onto things, so we, uh, We get bogged down, we get bothered. It can ruin your day. When you get into a breakup, it can ruin your day. When things don't go your way, it can ruin your day. Why would you let that ruin your day? Today is the first day, today is the last day, today is the only day you get to be alive. So if you pretend that that is actually true and correct, then why would you let something this small happen that has already happened affect your day? Why would you be sad? Why would you de be depressed? Why would you sleep underneath the covers that long and waste four hours of complete sunlight that you could be enjoying yourself, swimming, hiking? You know? Uh, so the complete ending of suffering is just that. Now part of Justin's statement is ending suffering and bringing to enlightenment. So as a result of ending, the complete ending of suffering, you're now closer to enlightenment, if not enlightenment yourself. Nibbana. Very easy to attain. Very easy to attain. I teach that. And it's people, when they think about Nibbana, they're like, oh, it's really hard to achieve. It's not. It's not. Trust me. Trust the teacher. Trust the process. Once again, a special thanks to now Saint Justin by virtue of generosity, Dana. The expression of giving, the expression of generosity by and through giving and thinking of other people with the intention attached to it. So brings a great joy and quite frankly I can do this all day <laughs> the more messages like this come in all day the more expressions of generosity it may take up 80% of my talks instead of <laughs> to the other demo talks that I've prepared may you all be well be happy be free always be healthy